Welcome to Animatology Practical Lecture. Today we are going to look at morphological identification of nematodes belonging to genus Siphinema using a microscope. The objective of this practical is to identify nematodes of genus Siphinema based on morphological features and thus being able to differentiate them from wrong dollars. The different features include the rip region which may be round, offset or continuous with body contours. They have odontostyrate with two guiding rings and forked at its base. They also have a flanged odontophore. Whereas in long dollars, there is one guiding ring, non forked odontostyrate, and non flanged odontophore. Females may have monodalific, didalific, or pseudomonodalific reproductive system with or without symbiotic bacteria. Z organis or spines depending on the group. The tail varies from being short to elongate and conoid depending on the group. After this brief recap, let's now start off our practical exercise. For this practical exercise, we are going to use a female nematode that belongs to Americanum group. Let us start by putting our nematode specimen in the focus. Right now we are seeing the lip region of this nematode. This lip region is rounded and slightly offset. In the same focus, we also have the odontostyrate of this nematode. This odontostyrate is robust with two guiding rings, as you can see them here. When we come to the end of the stylate, we see that this odontostyrate is forked at its base. As we move posteriorly, we also see the odontophore of this nematode, and it is a flanged odontophore. As we come towards the intestines, we see the pharyngointestine junction that is marked by a structure called cardia. When we continue moving posteriorly, we come across the different features of the female reproductive system. Such features include the vulva, ovary, uterus, etc. But for this nematode, we can see that the ovary contains symbiotic bacteria, which puts our nematode in Americanum group. When we come to the posterior end, we see the tail of this nematode. This tail is short and conoid. From this microscopy exercise, we have seen some of the diagnostic features for genus Phenema, and thus enabling us to differentiate it from long dollars. Thank you all for watching, and please check our YouTube channel for more videos of other nematode genera.